Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about adding, subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this expression here, <coughs> parenthesis, negative 9v squared minus 8u, and parenthesis, plus a negative 2uv minus 2u squared plus v squared, and parentheses, plus negative v squared plus 4uv. Oh, just barely got it all in there. Okay. So what I have here is a combination of v's and u's and uv's. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, when I simplify this, I'm going to write the next thing, everything down with adding a negative. I find that easier. And in doing so, there's nothing, uh, if we look within each parenthesis, there's nothing that I can simplify within each one. So we have a negative 9v squared plus a negative 8u plus a negative 2uv plus a negative 2u squared plus v squared plus a negative v squared plus 4uv. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have all my v squares first then my uv's, then my u squareds, then my u's, okay? So you're still going to put your like terms together in the highest degree first, but then sometimes you put other things in between. Um, it really doesn't matter fully, but let's just do that and have my v squareds first. So I have a negative 9 v squared using the commutative property. Put a dot to show that I brought it down. Then I have a, as one of the v squareds, another v squared I see is just v squared. So we add a v squared right here. Then we have a negative v squared, brought that down, negative v squared as well, put a dot should I brought it down, okay? Then my uv's, um, my uv's, my uv's, well I have one uv here, so I have a plus a negative 2 uv, brought that down, and I have plus uh, a positive 4 uv, did I forget anything else? Just double checking, no. Then from there, okay, I am just going with u squared, so we have a uh, plus a negative 2u squared right there. Don't see anything else. And then the last one's a negative 8u. Now, it really doesn't necessarily matter per se. The order, some teachers want all the highest degrees first, and then just keep going down from there. It doesn't matter. I, don't, I wouldn't mark my student off for having this a little differently. But So let's double check. We brought everything down. Negative 9v squared here, negative 8u right there, negative 2uv, uh, negative 2u squared v squared, negative v squared, and positive 4uv. Fantastic, brought everything down. Now let's combine our like terms. Negative 9v squared plus v squared plus negative v squared. Well, these two cancel each other out, so we're left just a negative 9v squared. Two u, negative 2uv plus positive 2uv is a plus a positive 2uv. Those are my like terms. Then we have just a negative 2u squared, so I'm going to make that a minus 2u squared, and then minus 8u. And there we have it. Our final answer here is negative 8v squared plus 2uv minus 2u squared minus 8u. So let's recap here. We're given negative 9v squared minus 8u in one parenthesis, another parenthesis, negative 2uv minus 2u squared plus v squared, another parenthesis, plus another parenthesis, negative v squared plus 4uv. I rewrote all this to be adding a negative and then combined by like terms, usually highest degree first. But since I had a mix of v's and u's and uv's, I had a, u, a v first, then I brought my uv's together, and then I had my um, v's, or u squareds, and then my u's. Okay? Then I simplified by combining my like terms, giving me my final answer, which was negative 9v squared plus 2uv minus 2u squared minus 